they haven't investigated those pieces. They haven't had conversations. Now, is this something that the town board of selectmen should decide, or should this go to a wider vote of the people? I think the board of selectmen are the elected representatives. I don't see a precedent for people voting on something like this. Perhaps I've missed something. Uh, they're elected to make these decisions. Mm -hmm. And what is the balance on that right now in the, in the, within the board? They're, they're, they're in favor of it. They, they the my, my impression is that most of them are. But they're also trying to negotiate the best deal possible. The last I heard was that they are trying to get some way that we can get, we as a town, can get a percentage of the gross. If we don't get it from the state, mm -hmm. the plan was that the town, in partnership with the tribe, would go to the state and try to get something like 2% of the gross. How do you answer Richard's arguments about the studies, the, the, the impact on crime and other issues around? I answer it only to say that Middleborough isn't the other towns and that the studies have to be looked at as applying to those towns. Middleborough can learn from the lessons of the other towns, learn from the mistakes of the other towns. The members of the Mashby Mompanog that I've talked to up to the chairman are, to me, very sincere. Uh, I trust them. Now, maybe I'm naive. I've had a lot they of... They end up don't running the casino. Well, and that's a big thing. Yeah. One of the pieces that uh, the chairman, Mr. Marshall, has consistently said, if the town doesn't want the casino, it won't go there. He said that over and over again. And we have voted consistently for a wide variety of zoning bylaw changes, conservation changes. I sat to a town meeting where we voted the amount of salary for, this, for the secretary of the library commission. It is appalling to me that the selectmen don't, if this agreement is so good for the town, they must put it forward to the voters to vote yay or nay. This will change our community drastically, and the, it shouldn't be the vote of only three people. It should be the vote of the townspeople. How do you make that happen? Well, my suggestion to them at the meeting was that they put in a piece in the agreement that says subject to the town meeting, election, town meeting vote or town election. Chairman Marshall has said consistently over and over again, I don't want to go to a place that I'm not wanted. And if the townspeople don't want it, I won't go there. And I do honor him and at his word, and I believe he, he's a man of his word. So let the people decide. Would you want this deal to go in perpetuity? Because I'm doing some research about Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun. Mohegan Sun pays minimal, $500,000 a year, and Foxwoods pays nothing. Well, that's where you get the percentage and the reopening every five years or every 10 years for looking at the base fee of $7 million. Now, I'm not an expert on this, but what I'm understanding from the people who are telling me, if you get the percentage of the gross... What will that be? Do you have any idea what that is?